Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm coming to you with three wall decor projects. So if you like hanging something on your empty wall, what's different than paintings, you might fall in love with these DIYs. All three projects are minimalist in looking and really easy to make, I promise. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and without further ado, let's start with the first wall decor project. For this project you need white uh, dry clay, rolling pin, grease proof paper or baking paper, wooden dowel, gold paint, brush, any item which makes more holes, circle cutter, cotton cord and scissors. Place your paper on the surface you are going to work on. Take small part of clay and roll it out to about 75mm thick. Using the circle cutter, cut out 6 exact round pieces. Now using item which allows you to make small hole, cut out hole on the top part of the circle. This is the place where we're going to attach the rope later on. Now take your cutter and cut about half of the circle out. Repeat the process on the second circle clay. You can use the first one as a template. Smoothen the edges on the clay. Now make holes for the rope. Cut out third shape of the moon, this time smaller than the previous one. Place your moon shapes in position if you want them to hang. Take the cord and measure how long your strings needs to be. Leave clay on the side to fully dry out. Once your moons are dry, it's time to sand the edges down. Be gentle doing that. Using gold paint, I've started to paint my moon shape clay. Paint one side. Let it dry, then paint another side, and if your paint didn't cover very well at the first time, paint it again.
Once everything is dry, try connecting your nodes to the tower using cotton rope. Add some extra rope for hanging it on the wall. I really like how it turned out. Love the shade of the gold paint. Minimalistic but effective decoration. For this project you need embroidery hoop, cotton rope, variety of wool and thread, different colors, sizes and texture, and scissors. To start, take your cord and start wrapping it around the hoop. This step helps you to measure how much of your cord you actually need. I wrap it about 14 times. Take small piece of towel and wrap your measured cord on it. Now using double knot, attach cord to the hoop. Wind the cord around the hoop, bring it to the middle and take it around outside of the hoop. And then again into the middle and around the hoop on the opposite side. I'm leaving about two and a half centimeters cut between the lines. Before I finish with the cord, I want to make the center of the hoop tidier, so all of the spokes are coming on one place. When you're happy with your center bead, knot your string to the hoop. Take first of your favorite yarn. Fold it in half and tuck one end underneath two strings. Pull it up and your yarn is attached to the hoop. Using waving technique, move your yarn above and under both strings. Thank you. 
After you finish with one yarn, simply make the knot on the other side of the hook. Of course in this project you can use your favorite colors of yarn and mix them together. Play around with your wool. Cut spare yarn off and your round webbing cool decoration is ready. For this project all you need is cotton rope and two metal rings in different sizes. Because my rings were in bad state, I've painted them with metallic gold spring paint. Start cutting 200 cm long pieces of cord. Take the first string, fold it in half and attach it to the ring using Clark's head knot. Do the same with the second string. Cross the strings over and attach it to the smaller ring. Loop the string around once and then loop it around again and pull it through the loop. Repeat process on the other side. Continue the step. Remember to always cross the string off.
Now I'm adding the last strings on both sides. Take all of the loose gold and pull it through the bigger rack. Cut the ends off to make it straight. And last step is to attach little hoop so you can hang it on the wall. Very simple and minimalistic looking decoration, easier than macrame but the effect is still impressive. Of course let me know in the comments down below which project is your favourite one and if you like decorating your walls with things different than some paintings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And yeah, next time the video will be a little bit different, so don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. Thank you. Bye.